Radio Azad. This is where your voice matters, and this is Double Shot Espresso with Tasneem and Aisha. And today's topic is all about staying in love. We've done a lot of shows on breakups and divorces, <laughs> and uh, I think we're working backwards in this series. But <laughs> today's topic is all about staying in love. Hi, Tasneem. How are you? Hi. Good morning. Good morning to all our listeners too. Absolutely, it is a great, great morning. And um, f- studio phone number. Let's start off with that nine seven two five zero one nine three nine zero. And you can call in today. I want everybody who is calling in by tapping the app. And if you go to the Radio Azad app, simply hit the call studio button, and you will be directly connected to the studio. No numbers to. remember how great is that so today janab the topic is about staying in love so what do you think is the average time that people stay in love any guesses good question we'll ask our listeners that yeah, as well let's do that <laughs> well according to um a great scientific survey is it can be anywhere <laughs> from a few days uh, to actually uh, a, you know a few years but the average time average time according to scientific reasoning is 3 to 7 years uske baad jo hai na reality rears its ugly head and um, वो सेवन ईयर इच बोलते हैं ना मीनिंग या इसके बारे में बात करेंगे या शोर यू अच्छा बट साइंस एंड एक्सपीरियंस हैज आल्सो शोन दैट इट इज पॉसिबल टू लव डीपली इंटेंसली एंड परमानेंटली फॉर ए लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द हाउ द व्हाई एंड द व्हाई नॉट एंड एज ऑलवेज व्हाट वी कैन डू टू मेक श्योर दैट लव डज नॉट फेड अवे विथ टाइम so lots and lots to talk about today and we have some great role models in front of us so we'll find out what their secret of success is i, I know well. right quite a few people come straight to mind some of our regular listeners who are, are great role models on the subject so we look forward to hearing uh, their tips but uh, just as you said i mean it's so true because you know how often do you see uh you know you go into a really amazing uh, restaurant and you'll see a couple who's just sitting over there playing with their phones and not having any conversation wo itni dafa hota hai and and therefore there's a social psychologist by the name of Eric Fromm and he said that love therefore uh can be defined as not just a feeling but a practice not just a feeling but a practice okay in other words love involves behavior and therefore it's a skill mm. so yes you know love can happen by chance but in order to stay in love so you can fall in love by chance but mm-hmm. to stay in love it is a choice mm, that you make um, okay and that's not by chance because when the you know honeymoon phase as we call it abhi wo 2 saal ka ho 5 saal ka ho ya 7 ka ho you know when that fades and you kind of see the person for all of their you know their strengths and their stuff that you you kind of don't uh, like so much that's when the challenge uh, kind of hits you in the face and say oh my god with this the you know for a long term basis um and some people you know as we discussed on our previous shows with divorce and you know breakups and stuff like that that people give up along the way koi koi bahut jaldi give up kar lete and we talked about how in today's generation is patience lacking is you know is that resilience to kind of carry it through lacking we talked about so many things in our previous shows and and i have had so many clients who come to me also with their relationship issues and and some of them are a stuff that when you sit on the outside and you feel oh my god ye to you know fix ho jana chahiye but for them it doesn't feel like that for them it you know feels like a deal breaker so the main thing then is that are are couples who stay in love doing something differently or some things differently from others who probably struggle and face constant challenges trying to keep that love alive and the answer definitely is yes and that is what i'm going to try uh, you know we're going to try to focus on and talk about today on various aspects of how you can you know what goes wrong how can you keep that love alive and what is it that you're not doing right and also another very important thing that i read yesterday when i was kind of putting my thoughts together for the show is that research 
proves that when you fall in love it activates different parts of your brain mm-hmm. and Absolutely. when you stay in love you know to stay in love that you're using a different part of your brain to stay in love and that i felt i don't know i mean it's when you think about it it feels true because you know that attraction that that crazy passion that infatuation whatever you call it would activate you know a different part of your brain whereas decision making conflict resolution communication all of those would come from different aspects of your brain so it does make sense when i think about it but obviously you know a lot of times love is just you know love is love so you know if it's not there then it's not there uh, and therefore i mean yes buzurg bhi kehte hain and elders also say ki take your time with falling in love meaning mm-hmm. pehle aapko koi pasand aa jaye to that doesn't mean ke that's it you know jump into it take your time get to know the person and all of that but uh, you know people don't write many poems uh, on the practicality <laughs> of love you know it's always written on that flush and the rush and the romance of it all well the interesting thing that you said is that love involves the brain and staying in love involves the brain and that's you know something that we've been uh, have not been taught to feel or think about at all exactly because hum yahan se dil se sochte hain wo us waqt and i'm sure ki wo jab feeling ki baat hoti hai to yes i mean the mind soul connection over there but staying in love also has definitely a mind soul connection i think uh, to feel the love you would ha- you you'd feel it in your heart but yes all of it goes on up there uh, your brain is sitting Uh, on top so that's where you're doing it from and falling in love therefore as i said isn't a chance but a chain of events that simply you know make you fall in love to kabhi to ek dinner ho jata hai ya 8 hour ki ek lambi conversation ho jati hai aur aapko lagta hai ki bhai mujhe to pyar ho gaya hai but over the years to stay in love uh, it's the hard part because when the rush dissipates there are just two uh, imperfect people trying to make it as perfect as can be Hmm very very interesting. So I have some questions for you when I was writing these down uh, thinking about the topic yesterday and of course we'll take questions from our listeners as well 9725019390 that's 9725019390 and you can tap the app to give us a call at the studio. So is true love different from romantic love? I would uh, in my opinion say romantic love can be an infatuation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it can just be a fatal attraction. It oh, can be fatal <laughs> attraction. <laughs> it can be that you know that ho- it can be lust which is confused with love. Mm-hmm. So a romantic love can fall under all of that. But true love ke andar romantic love hona zaruri hai. So le- you know I would say true love has romantic love but romantic love need not necessarily be true love mm-hmm. and on the topic of true love there was this one beautiful thing actually i, I don't need to turn it but <laughs> it said you know people say that you know this is my true love mm-hmm. so is there something called false love Mm. because if it's love it's it love. ought to be true right? right so you know true love false love yeah true love not so true love uh iske hote hain na shades of gray hote hain i think mm-hmm. that's where romantic love would fall under sometimes you get infatuated you get carried away you kind of you know in the flush of the moment but for true love to develop i think it takes a lot more than just romance and the other question is is there a time factor involved to fall yes. in love no no to fall in love and to actually d- make that transition from romantic love to to true love is there like saying okay uh if you've been in love with this person for i don't know 10 years then bus then you're going to make it or 15 years then you're going to make it or whatever i know right i mean i wish there was because fir upon uh, you know we wouldn't see ki you know 25 saalon ke baad breakups hote hain you know 50 saalon ke baad log divorce lete hain so i think wo ek time frame to nahi rehta ki bhai ye itne saal ho gaye to true love ho jata hai but agar apan you know if we generalize if we just kind of take the liberty of generalizing i would say the 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 main thing is when you live with the person mm-hmm. when you start living with the person and i would say anything between after 2 to 3 years uh, of living with the person is when you and you're still together and want to stay together for the long term i think that's when the true love has has started developing because uski to range rehti like even if i had to ask some some of our listeners and even you that i'm sure that you love your husband way more than you probably loved him you in know in the beginning in the beginning so that true love also 
develops it kind of increases with the you know phases of life that you go through bacche bachcho ki jo you know achievements hoti hai ya khud ki ya you know as a family as you grow i think that love deepens it takes different shades of red hmm and that's a very interesting thing that i think the nature of love changes yeah. it's not uh, it doesn't stay static very true All right, good. So we're talking about staying in love and how easy or how difficult I- is it uh, on double shot espresso today. So, uh, Tasim, can we talk a little bit about qualities of stay in love couples? Yeah. So, I mean, this list can be <laughs> so much more. So, I mean, this is just a few things that came to my mind which we will talk about today, but f- you know, feel free to add as we go along. Uh and so the first one is I think uh you know once the the f- honeymoon phase is over is when conflicts happen you know mm-hmm. you disagree on something there are misunderstandings so i think the the one of the first qualities of stay in love couples is how they resolve conflict uh you know stay in love couples kind of really do not like they ache when there are disagreements in 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 the relationship so after a conflict they strive to resolve the situation and make up as soon as pa- possible mm-hmm. and you know when the when the problem arises is when the conflict festers you know you you don't resolve it there is revenge there is punishment of some kind ki now he's done this so i'm going to not talk to him for 3 days and this will be the punishment or whatever your mm-hmm. you know brain is kind of making you do so rather than needing to win they want to understand why they you know fought or argued or disagreed and they kind of resolve it so judgment is not an issue uh inquiry and learning are mm-hmm. so you know let's talk about it and let's make sure that this doesn't happen so let's learn from it and even when they're hurt or angry they want their partner to feel heard and supported uh and i think that is key in conflict resolution because when you're angry you kind of just want to talk yourself and and rant and rave while that is important to get everything out on the table equally important is to give the other person the opposite spouse an opportunity to feel heard and supported as well so you know assigning blame ki bhai ye aapka fault hai ye mera fault hai and which is what i have seen in so many couples who come for therapy too that you know somewhere they have moved from making it a we mm-hmm. and they have got into that i i yeah. uh, you know the need to be right is so strong that yeah. they have forgotten that this is a a we situation this is not i'm right or you're wrong this is we are wrong so let's figure out where we got wrong and mm-hmm. let's fix it i think it gets into like an action and reaction kind of situation right i acted this way because of what you said or because of your body language or because of uh, you know something that you did and that's why i reacted like that very Do true you see that yeah yeah uh, i mean definitely i think uh, it, th- then again even if that's the case because it's not always that you need to take all the blame but there has to be it takes two to tango mm-hmm. so if there is something that the other person has done which triggered you then that trigger you take the responsibility for the trigger mm-hmm. uh, and i think we had discussed this on another show i don't remember which one where we had talked about you know the one of the best ways for for resolving conflict is to after a point ke bhai chalo screaming shouting jo bhi aapko karna hai rona dhona wo sab ho gaya just take responsibility for what you did how did you participate in this argument let's leave the other person out i think taking responsibility for just your part makes the other one also take responsibility for their so you know one person is inspiring the other kind of a thing and then you realize that yeah it, you know both of us kind of went wrong somewhere and let's not do it again uh you know th- so therefore that communication to respect one another to honor one each one you know each other's point of view because jaise bolte ki you know har kisi ka sach unka sach hota hai to jaise aapko laga ki bhai aapne ye kiya to uski wajah se maine ye kiya wo aapka sach hai to similarly unka bhi sach you know alag ho sakta hai lekin wo sach hai unke liye so i think it's important to give them that uh, hearing uh, yeah all right and on time you're watching us on youtube and this is double shot espresso on radio azad this is where your voice matters and uh, you're listening to life coach this name and 
आयशन वे टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टेइंग इन लव आज बड़ा सन्नाटा छाया हुआ है जन्ना 9725019390 तो हम बात कर रहे थे ब्रेक में या तो सब इन लव है या आउट ऑफ लव है एग्जैक्टली तो मैं हम पॉजिटिव सोचेंगे तो हम सोचेंगे कि शायद आप लोग इतने इन लव है और फेबरी का महीना चल रहा है तो वैलेंटाइंस के आफ्टर इफेक्ट्स अभी भी जारी है यू नो सो इसीलिए हमारी लाइट्स जरा भी नहीं लाइट अप हो रही हैं सो प्लीज यू नो काइंड ऑफ टेक अ मोमेंट टू शो सम लव दिस साइड टू वी लुक फॉरवर्ड टू हियरिंग फ्रॉम यू बट कंटिन्यूइंग वी पर टॉकिंग अबाउट क्वालिटीज टू स्टे इन लव एंड वी टॉक्ट अबाउट हाउ दे रिजॉल्व कॉन्फ्लिक्स यू नो स्टे इन कपल्स दे कैन ऑफ मेक श्योर दैट द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इज रिजॉल्व देर एन एंड देन और यू नो एज क्विकली एज पॉसिबल एंड एंड द सेकेंड वन वॉज हाउ दे डू नॉट असाइन ब्लेम इट्स नॉट अबाउट यू for me it's about the we and 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 that uh, adds a lot of uh, dimension to how they deal with disagreements so i have a question for you some couples believe that talking about an issue just makes it worse who are the, i mean i want to meet those couples <laughs> <laughs> come meet okay. me those couples uh आई मीन आई आई अग्री कि हर किसी छोटी छोटी बात को इतना बड़ा चुंगम की तरह स्ट्रेच करके उसको एक बड़ा कम्युनिकेशन बना के फिर वो जरूरी नहीं है आई मीन आई गेट दैट आई मीन एवरी थिंग डजेंट नीड टू बी स्ट्रेच इन टू एन एलेबरेट डिस्कशन एंड यू नो सम थिंग्स जिसको मॉन थिंग्स हैपन यू कैन पिक अप you know the things and you move on but mostly when you have something that affects you it's become a fight you're not talking there is unrest you can feel the uncomfortableness in the air definitely communication is key and you know your spouse is is your first best friend in that sense so if you cannot share how you feel and things that upset you or whatever it is with your spouse then somewhere that will fester wo choti choti cheeze eventually carpet ke andar jaati jayegi jaati jayegi and eventually will become one big blah. so you the may, carpet becomes a mattress yeah and mm. you know then that's you know then you may feel ki ye to itni choti si cheez thi why did i flare up Hmm. but you flared up because you piled it in you you piled it you piled it and piled it and then there was one choti si thing that happened which I, normally you could have you would have just nazar andaz that and moved on but it became a big thing for you because you know the patience levels had been crossed within okay so we have a caller let's take them on the air radio azad you're on the air hello beautiful smart girls <laughs> hello mona ji how are you hum uh, As good as it can get, as sunshine है मैं सोच रही थी कि मैं अपनी सिक्सटीज में अर्ली सिक्सटीज में हूँ तो लव का मतलब चेंज हो गया है लव कितनी किस्म के होते हैं अगा पे इरोज का लव जो होता है ना वो प्यूबर्टी से शुरू होता है फिर जब बच्चे का लव आता है तो हसबेंड का लव थोड़ा सा पीछे चला जाता है तो कितने तरह के लव है लव इज अड एक्चुअली इंसानी नीड है और इसको इसमें कई लिंक्स कितनी तरह से बनता है उसमें क्या क्या शामिल होता है केयरिंग भी शामिल है तो लव पता नहीं जो अमेरिकन लव है ना आई लव आई लव लव ये वाला मुझे थोड़ा सा घबराहट होती है उससे कि वो हम उसको एक टैग लगा देते हैं लव मतलब समंदर की तरह उतार चढ़ाव लहरों का होता है टाइम के साथ और उम्र के साथ समंदर सुकून में भी होता है तो बहुत सारे लव के स्टेजेस हैं लव के कलर्स हैं लव की शेप्स हैं और लव की टाइप्स भी हैं और बस मेरी बेटी का मुझे याद आया कि उसके प्यार ने मुझे सोना बना दिया था उसकी उसकी टच ने उसकी समझ ने तो उसके लिए गाना उसकी याद में अगर आप बचा सकें टाइटैनिक टाइटल सॉन्ग का थोड़ा सा हिस्सा थैंक यू और राइट थैंक यू गुड पॉइंट Yeah I mean that's why I think what we said in the beginning was you know love is not just a feeling it is so much more mm-hmm. and uh, you know I think ek dusri line agar mujhe yaad hai to kya tha ke love is but a feeling trapped in a word mind knows no language it cannot be heard mm um yeah it was a part of uh, windows of reflection but it's so true ki ek ek loves mein aap love ko nahi define kar sakte it is so much more it's the highs the lows the things you go through the challenges you face and overcome together the achievements you make yours hers the the individual achievements also that you have you don't have to have only you know things that you do together i think uh, a couple that stays together is who allows the opposite person to grow as well uh, you know in the journey of life so definitely those points were wonderful 
Mm-hmm. So then moving on, the next point is that how do they respond to requests for connection? Because पहले क्या होता है कॉलर है ले लेते हैं पहले कोई फॉर स्टार्ट रेडियो आजाद हेलो Assalamualaikum ladies. Waalaikum assalam. Meaning main... before you start SKFG, आप meaning आप उठते ही ऐसे हैं या क्या होता है? Meaning <laughs> I was just telling Aisha this morning. Yeah, this morning I've woken up from the wrong side of the bed. I'm just like not myself totally. मुझे बड़ा डर लग रहा है आज. <laughs> and you're like every time so it's like it's amazing thank you so much for lifting my spirit to this morning L- likewise i'm so excited because i get to talk to you all you know so oh, bahut acha lagta hai mujhe thank you ji so love ke bare mein ye kahungi ki main samajhti hu ki agar commitment aur effort kiye aur sahi partner mile jiska bhi vision aapke sath hai मोर और लेस जरूरी नहीं कि एक ही लेवल पे कम्प्लीटली बट यू कैन वर्क ऑन इट तो बड़ी अच्छी मजेदार रिवाइटलाइज जिंदगी रोमांटिक मैरिटल रिलेशनशिप की मैं अभी बात कर रही हूँ और उसमें रोमांस भी रहता है कमिटमेंट भी रहता है वननेस एंड टूगेदरनेस रहता है और ये डेलिब्रेट एक एफर्ट करना पड़ता है टू ब्रिंग इट तो लव मेरे लिए एक रेंज ऑफ इमोशंस है and you play on it together and try to achieve completeness with it mm-hmm. and life sharing moments bahut important hote hain jaise ritual welcome karna khuda hafiz bolna embrace karna intimate moments old photos memories nostalgia ye sab cheezon se ek qisam ki zindagi mein kehna chahiye it brightens up your life dil chahta hai celebrate karte rahe zindagi ko mm-hmm. the little moments right ha the little moments definitely mm-hmm. aur ek dusre ko nurture aur protection bahut zaruri hai aur wo kitne tareeke hote hain wo karne ke of your mind body and soul uplifter hona ek dusre ka faithfulness aisa complete relationship koshish karna जरूरी नहीं कि 100 परसेंट हो और कई दफा जैसे मैंने कहा अप्स एंड डाउन होते हैं मगर उसके लिए ऑन द अदर स्केल इंड्योरेंस पेशेंस फॉर गिवनेस वगैरह की जरूरत है मगर अगर विजन एक हो और मगर आप डिफरेंटली ग्रो करें मगर सामने रास्ता एक हो के साथ रहना है राइट सो विजन एंड गोल हैज टू बी द सेम सेम यू नो सो उसमें काफी चीजें अचीव हो जाती है एंड जैसे मैंने बताया नाइसनेस इन्वेस्टिंग टाइम एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ईच अदर रिस्पेक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड जस्ट दैट कंफर्टेबल फीलिंग एंड अवेलेबिलिटी सो दैट इज व्हाट यू ऑल वेर टॉकिंग ना कि व्हाट इज व्हाट इज इट टू बी इन लव बिल्कुल वॉट आर समर क्वालिटीज ऑफ कपल्स हु स्टे इन लव फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम वो तो अहद कर लिया है इनशाला और हियर एंड हियर आफ्टर का और मेरे केस में जो जो चीजें मैंने सोची थी mm-hmm. अल्लाह के शुक्र से कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है मगर इस चीज में मैं हंड्रेड परसेंट बोल सकती हूँ कि काफी अचीव हुआ है विच गिव्स अस वे ग्रेट सेंस ऑफ फुलफिलमेंट टू बोथ ऑफ अस एंड टू आर फैमिली बिकॉज इन दैट वे वी आर सेटिंग अ गुड रोल मॉडल एग्जाम्पल फॉर आर नियर एंड डियर वन ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच I mean yeah all I mean all such beautiful points and I think we are going to cover them as we go along uh, mm-hmm. I also loved the part where she said ki ek jo common goal uh, mm-hmm. you know ek vision jo hota hai jisko hum coaching terms mein values bhi bolte hain like you need to have common value system so a good way to kind of uh, you know realign a marriage if mm-hmm. it is going through a little bit of a a uh, rough patch is to just sit and write down what's important to you about your marriage or a marriage just an ideal marriage what's mm-hmm. important to you about an ideal marriage aap apna list banaye aapke spouse ko bole wo apna list banaye aur fir wo usko match karke aap dekhe ki aapke values align ho rahe hain ki nahi common factors hai ki nahi aur agar nahi hai to aap क्या कर सकते हैं कि आप उनको रिस्पेक्ट करें कि भाई उनकी वैल्यू सिस्टम भी अप्रिशिएट और रिस्पेक्टेड हो और यू नो व्हाट कैन द ऑपोजिट पर्सन डू फॉर यू टू ऑनर एंड रिस्पेक्ट योर्स बट यू विल फाइंड दैट इन कपल्स दैट यूजुअली स्टे टुगेदर दे मे नॉट हैव ऑल द सेम वैल्यूज बट दे डेफिनेटली हैव टू और थ्री वैल्यूज विच आर एब्सोल्यूटली सिमिलर विच यू नो काइंड ऑफ 
push them and that's their goal that we got to get there mm-hmm. uh, and those values are really really important to keep that marriage uh, alive and rocking okay so uh, having said that but that was on values and then uh, i was going to talk about how they respond to requests for connection because mm-hmm. pehle pehle kya hota hai ki you kind of drop everything the you know the opposite partner is your is a priority and you just make sure that you make time for them come what may but after you've you know had a couple of years or how many so ever time responsibilities family children have happened that connection dissipates and you know when the person the spouse is asking you that please make time for me or i'm going through you try to quickly fix the situation which mm-hmm. husbands are very <laughs> <laughs> they love famous for doing right they just you tell them a problem and they'll say okay ye kar lo it solve ho jayega but it's not so much about solving you know you know how to solve it mm-hmm. but you just want a listening ear you want that companionship that you had so much of at the beginning mm-hmm. and i think stay in couples do that they they still make time for each other and you know give that listening ear and and then give a solution if required we have a caller let's take them radio azad you're on the air good morning aisha good morning kasmin good morning good morning kaisi hai samina ji no to so personally for me love is like um, marriage ke baad it, it love will be tested when you have really really challenges or obstacles comes in between you and your husband or you and or, or someone mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because for me what i feel right now at this time is it's understanding and then be staying in love for a long time it's a responsibility Mm-hmm. because aapke zindagi bache ho it is like a normal ja rahi hai then it won't be tested but for me as a um, we have a child with special needs in our life so our life is very demanding mm mm-hmm. so uski treatment hai uska how we have to do it and then we both have two different uh, you know two, two different paths hote two different we try different we think differently mm mm-hmm. तो ये चीजें संभाल के हम अपना रिश्ता संभालना दैट बिकम रियली चैलेंजिंग इट्स नॉट दैट इजी या क्योंकि जो इसका होता ना फॉर एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ अवर लाइफ मैं और मेरे हस्बैंड हम लोगों के बातें बातें करते थे सिटिंग इन अ वेडिंग रूम ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल और इमरजेंसी रूम बिकॉज हम इमरजेंसी लेके गए जिम को ही इज देयर वेटिंग फॉर द डॉक्टर एंड देन वी गेट द टाइम टू सिट टूगेदर so hum log waisa we we try to make time it doesn't matter where we are sitting mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah Ye, that's important we need to be we need to sit and uh, talk okay this happened this happened this, this, this that, that's why i say that ek one point ke baad all the fantasies all the jo cheeze chale jaate it becomes the responsibility and it becomes understanding In understanding dono ke beech mein pahad bhi aake pad jaye hmm अलग इतने सारे रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आके पड़ जाए बट स्टिल यू स्टे टूगेदर एंड मूव फॉरवर्ड दैट फॉर इट इट इज इट इज द अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी हो जाती है पॉइंट के बाद हम्म so oh. that's a very important पॉइंट एंड एंड आई थिंक सेवरल ऑफ आर कॉलर्स हैव आल्सो अलूडेड टू दिस के the nature of love changes right so it becomes like you saying it becomes a companionship it becomes a support system it becomes uh, understanding is very important it, to some degree it has an element of responsibility as well responsibility towards your kids responsibility towards each other bilkul yes exactly kam jaise tasneem ne bola communication is really ek badi itni cheez hai usme it's really important aspect because if my husband is not my husband is not like you know jo mai bolti hu se agree nahi kar rahe for the treatment of azim whatever it is mm-hmm. happening they both sit and take a paper even sometimes i draw to explain him okay this is what this is what mm-hmm. these are papers hum log by ke na explain kar de mai azim ko okay this is my standing mai isliye this is what mm-hmm. i am standing and then this is this is the reason yeah <clears throat> and just that you know like recently i if i can share i had a client and whose husband was just not listening to 
what she wanted and she wanted some changes in the relationship and he was like just you know nazar andaaz karna ki just one of the moods yeah aisa kuch ho gaya hoga ki kya ho gaya aaj thoda sad hai ya isliye bol rahi hai and this went on for a couple of months hmm. where eventually we tried something different we popped him an email बिकॉज यू नो काम पे हम इतने ई मेल कल्चर में आ गए हैं कि जब ई मेल आता है तो यू फील हाँ मुझे रिस्पॉन्ड करना है सो इवेंचुअली वन शी डिड दैट यू नो शी डिड समथिंग इंटायरली डिफरेंट दैट शी हैड बीन डूइंग ऑल दिस टाइम एंड इट वर्क ही सर ओ आई थिंक यू रियली यू नो दिस रियली मैटर्स टू यू वेन आई कम होम टू डे लेट्स इट एंड टॉक सो यू नो समाइम्स येस एस समीना जी सेट दैट यू नो इफ इट्स नॉट वर्किंग यूर टॉकिंग टॉकिंग इट्स नॉट हैपनिंग दैन ड्रॉ राइट डू वट एवर इट टेक्स टू मेक द अदर पर्सन अंडरस्टैंड योर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लेट्स टेक द कॉलम Radio Azad, you're on the air. I'm thoroughly enjoying. बच्चे तुम लोग अच्छा काम कर रहे हो तो मैंने कहा कि मैं थोड़ी सी मेरा वियर्ड ब्रेन है तो आई आई लर्न कि जैसे मेरा वे ऑफ कनेक्टिंग डिफरेंट है तो रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ कनेक्शन आई लाइक दैट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू तस्नीम और दूसरा ये है कि मैं सोचती हूँ कि मैं थोड़ी सी डिफरेंट हूँ या मैं इंडिपेंडेंट और बहुत स्ट्रांग हूँ तो मुझे अपनी स्पेस बहुत ज्यादा चाहिए आई कैन नॉट अफोर्ड अ फुल टाइम रिलेशनशिप आई नीड अ लॉट ऑफ स्पेस फॉर मी लव इज गिविंग मी स्पेस टू ग्रो एंड बिकम हु यू हु एम आई तो मेरे बहनों में देखती हूँ बट जो एंड ट्वेन की तरह बैठे होते हैं हर चीज साथ करते हैं आई गेट सफोकेटेड बाई दैट मुझे आयशा ने कहा ना कि वो दस पेज का कोई लेटर लिखता है डिस्लेक्सिक तो मैं पागल हो जाऊँ दस पेज का लेटर मैं पढ़ ही नहीं सकती एक साथ तो ये है कि हर एक का अलग अलग स्टाइल होता है और वक्त के साथ लव इज अ नीड तो नीड्स भी बदलती है ना तो लव का अंदाज भी बदलता है लेकिन डिफरेंट ब्रेन्स जो हैं वो डिफरेंट तरह से कनेक्ट करते हैं और उनकी नीड्स भी कितनी डिफरेंट है मेरी नीड्स में सोचती हूँ कि मुझे पार्ट टाइम रिलेशनशिप चाहिए फुल टाइम आई कैन नॉट अफोर्ड बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट बी माई साफ दिस इज दैट वियर्ड Well, it's uh, it is who you are. So you know, I to think, each yeah, we each all their own. Different, right? Yeah. And uh, <coughs> uh, the next one that I want to talk about is uh, you know, जो nurturing की बात की I think in one of the calls, वो how they parent each other. Uh, and I use the word parent from nurturing over here is because in every intimate love relationship, there's always an underlining crisscross interaction between the symbolic parent in one partner and the symbolic child in the other partner. Now, it is impossible to be open and vulnerable to one another without these interactions happening from time to time. इसका मतलब क्या होता है? मतलब ये होता है कि कभी ना कभी you know you may have कि कहीं चाइल्डहुड में कुछ हुआ या यू नो हाल ही में पाँच साल पहले कुछ हुआ और अभी वापस उसको आपकी वो एक नेगेटिव मेमोरी याद आ गई बिकॉज पीपल आर नेवर जस्ट द एज दे आर इन द करेंट मोमेंट दे आर अ कंपोजिट ऑफ ऑल द एजेस देव एवर बीन सो इफ अ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई हैड अ हार्ड ब्रेक इन माई ट्वेंटीज एंड समथिंग हैपन एंड इट काइंड ऑफ रिमाइंडेड मी ऑफ इट एंड आई हैव नॉट हील फ्राम इट देन माई स्पाउस इज गोइंग टू प्ले दैट पार्ट ऑफ अ नर्चरिंग पेरेंट and help you know kind of make me feel better or you know help hold my hand and and tide me through that moment so these automatic responses are you know notable in the early stages of a relationship aap dekhenge bhai you know two people fall in love ek ka kuch past ho ya history ho ya kuch uh, haal hi mein kuch hua ho to wo bahut hi care lega you know usko sambhalega isliye hum you know you see the words also that people couple in love call each other it's baby sweetie lovely jaan all of these things very caring nurturing words mm-hmm. so as the relationship matures what happens is many partners begin to feel less willing to give that kind of unconditional nurturing and therefore that can affect uh, the you know the love of a marriage the fabric of a marriage where you feel ki abhi uske paas time nahi hai ya abhi wo you know he doesn't love me or she doesn't care for me like she used, used to. to and stay in love couples understand how important it is to never let those you know soft spots as we call them or sweet spots die they kind of keep them alive all the time So why why is it that uh, couples or people in relationships start withholding their affection uh, is it that they just take the other person for granted uh, yeah sometimes it's that sometimes it's other responsibilities which 
in the early phase of a relationship were not as much of a priority as later you know once you kind of grow a family or once that initial phase is over you then want to now say okay i want to focus on my career now or mm-hmm. i want to focus on other things and therefore then this takes a back seat so a combination and a culmination of various factors could be uh, the reasons why people don't then give that time and attention that they probably used to early on in the relationship